Hey guys, and in this video, I want to talk about Ironfish. And this is going to be a two part guide. The first part, we're going to go over the Ironfish Node app and we're going to explain some maybe little known features and help you get started setting up the app, getting your node ready to start mining on and using it for transactions as well. And then in the second part of this video, we're going to explain how to set up a flight sheet in Hive OS so that you can start mining Ironfish. But before we go any further, I do want to go over a few quick disclaimers. One of the things I pride myself on my channel is my transparency. So I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ironfish, but it is in no way an endorsement of the project. And this video will strictly stick to technical aspects of the project itself. I do, however, mine Ironfish, and I think that Fish has is a fantastic algorithm that could be the future of GPU mining. So when Ironfish asked me if I'd want to partner up with a video like this, it was really easy for me to say no problem, but I do want to be transparent about that fact. The second disclaimer is whenever you run a node app, you really, 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 really want to make sure you do not run it on a PC with a lot of your personal information. Frankly, I run my node apps on a specific PC that is not even connected to my main network. And the node you'll see here is literally just for the purposes of using this video and I'll be deleting it as soon as I'm finished filming it. And now that we have all the disclaimers out of the way, let's show you how to set up your Ironfish node. All right, so on the Ironfish page, you wanna go to the use section and then you wanna highlight the node app and then you wanna click download our desktop application. Then once you click that, you wanna click download now. Now you can also get this off the GitHub if you would like, but I would strongly recommend that you go directly through the website and I will have the link down below and make sure you triple check that you have the right link. You do not wanna be downloading something that is not the official Node app. All right, so once you open up the Node app, you're gonna have two options, create an account or import an account. And this guide is assuming you have never used this app before. So you just wanna step one, you wanna click the create account box as highlighted right here on the video. All right, next you wanna create an account. Step two, under account name, you wanna make your account name whatever you want. It, it really doesn't matter, just something that you'll remember. And you also wanna write it down, which leads me to step three. And this is probably the most important step you're gonna make, especially if you plan on storing Ironfish on your Node app, which is the point of using the app. You're gonna have a recovery phrase. You're gonna click the I button and it's gonna show you all 24 words. You're gonna wanna write this down off the internet. I have an area where I store all of my seed phrases. You don't wanna have them on the internet where anyone can access them if you get hacked or anything. Now, obviously you can save it on your computer, but I would highly recommend you write it down with a pen and a paper and save it somewhere secure. Because if you ever have to recover your Node app, be whether you lose your computer or whatever, this is the only way you're gonna get it back. So I cannot stress this enough. You're gonna need to write down all 24 words in the correct order. Next, once you get your seed phrase entered in again and you hit okay, which make sure you triple and quadruple check that because there's no going back. Once you hit okay after you've saved the phrase, you have to set up your node. It's gonna ask if you wanna disable or enable your tele telemetry data. I leave that up to you. I generally don't enable it, but that is completely your call. Next, you have two options on how to sync the node to the blockchain. You can either download the snapshot, which is faster, or you can choose to sync directly from your peers, which is a little slower, but it helps strengthen the network. And that is a good thing, especially if you're going to start using and the Ironfish network for transactions and for mining. So you can do whichever one you want, but I would recommend syncing from your peers. So here's what the node app will look like once it's synced. You can see right here, it says synced on the bottom left. You can click on the release notes if you want which show you the latest release notes, or you could click on the settings and you can actually do things like change it from light mode to dark mode. One of the cool things on the settings, when you have the main net, you can switch from main net to test net and it'll generate you new addresses for each. So you won't accidentally get your wires crossed and send, you know, main net iron to test net and etc. So it'll keep you from accidentally screwing yourself over, which is a pretty nice feature they have. When you want to set up to send, you go to the address book, you go to create contact, and you will type in contact name, then you'll type in the address. So we'll just say contact name is test one, and then the address, we're gonna make some made up address up. 
and then you just hit add contact now the cool thing is if you try to hit and add contact and it's not a correct address it'll tell you invalid public address so you can't accidentally mistype and send it out to the to nothing so that's a nice part of this node so assuming you have it sent up correctly you go to the send tab and it'll give you your contact and it'll just show you how much iron you want to send and then you just click send it's really simple and easy to use and then when you want to receive iron you go to your receiving address and then when you want to receive iron, you click the receive button and it'll give you a public address. You copy that address and that's what you use when you want to set up like a miner to mine to your node, which is what you want to do. You definitely don't ever want to mine to exchanges. I highly recommend that you not do it, especially with iron. And then another neat thing about the node app is it's also a node, not just a wallet. So if you want to set up your node to you can either mine directly to your node instead of mining to a pool you're welcome to do that as well and if you want to do other things that are associated with the node now one thing i was asked to remind you all when you look at the node this node won't show your miners that are directly running to it like it won't show you the resources that they're taking up it will literally just show you the resources that the node is taking which you can see right here and when you add your accounts here like you know you add your main ironfish wallet you'll see it under accounts now i don't have it listed here for security which is what ironfish is great at so you won't see that on this test node that i have up but when you add your accounts you'll see it here and it'll have your balance and it will allow you to send and receive accordingly so that's it for the Ironfish Node app. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. This was just a simple get started guide where I just wanted to talk about the node and how to set it up. The next part of this guide will show you how to actually start mining Ironfish to your node. So if you are interested in that, stay with me. If not, thank you guys for watching. And please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll have some more content on Ironfish coming up soon. And thanks again to Ironfish for sponsoring this video. Okay, so the next part of this video is going to go over how to mine Ironfish on HiveOS. Now, two disclaimers. One, I am not going to be covering Windows or MMPOS, as I think Windows is not a viable way to GPU mine, so I don't think you should use it, so I'm not going to cover it here. And I do not own MMPOS, and I don't use MMPOS, so we're just going to cover Hive, as I think it covers most of my bases. And then this video will also not cover Ironfish Overclocks, as I have a few videos that are older on that, and I'll be releasing another one probably in a week or so, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. So this, like I said, this is going to cover how to mine Ironfish on Hive OS. Now, if you don't know how to make an account, you just go to the sign-in button, and you can just hit the register button and then you can go ahead and register right here you can put in promo code croupman with two zeros k r zero zero t m a n and it'll give you ten dollars towards your balance in hive os which will give you a few days or weeks to mine for free depending on how big your farm is and if you need to install it you want to click the install tab and then you're going to want to click latest firmware for gpus i'd recommend the zip file you're going to want to click that download it you can use something like balena etcher to install the hive os file onto your flash drive or your ssd and i'll have links down below for that next you want to go download balena etcher you can check out their website and it'll explain how to use it i don't want this video to take too long because i'm assuming most people know how to do this so if you don't know how to do this you can just go on their website and they'll give you a tutorial on how to flash the file and if you do just go ahead and skip this part and then we're going to go to how to make the flight sheet now all right so when you log into your hive os account and you will see a tab with the flight sheets you're going to want to step one is click on the flight sheet and then step two you're going to want to drag down until you see the coin iron with the iron first symbol next to it once you have that done you're going to want to create a new wallet so you're going to want to go to the wallet tab and then you're going to click new wallet and you're going to want to make sure it says iron under address you're going to put your node address there that you generated from the node earlier in this video the name you can name it whatever you want and then the source you leave it blank and then finally you're going to hit create in the bottom right hand corner so you're first box the coin should say iron and then the wallet should have a name of the wallet i named it video test address just so you could see it next we have the pool now here's another disclaimer i want to just let you know that i do work with hero miners and i think hero miners is a fantastic pool however if you look at the spread of the pools the majority of the hash rate is on hero miners over 50 percent in fact it's 82.4 percent as of the time of filming this video so ironfish did sponsor this video and they did ask me to recommend using other pools you have other options you have cryptex 
you have F2 pool, and then you have some other pools. Now, my preferred choice would be F2 pool, as that's what I mine on already, but you're welcome to use any of these pools. They basically would like you to use any other pool besides Hero Miners, and it's not a knock on Hero Miners, it's just that they want to make the network safer and more secure, which is honestly better for everybody. So, I'm going to drag to go to the configure pool option, I'm gonna select F2 pool. I'm just gonna click on the stratum that's closest to me and you can do whichever one's closest to you. So this is what your flight sheet should look like after you have that set up. Next, you're gonna to wanna to select your miner. If you're using NVIDIA GPUs, my miner of choice is Rago Miner. It's simple, effective, and it works. And if you wanna use an AMD miner, I am currently using BZ Miner. So that is my AMD miner of choice. And then when you get into the miner configuration, you're going to have to look at each individual miner to figure out their configurations. You can go on their discords. I'll link the server discords down below. And that's the best way you'll find their configurations. Each configuration is different. I do recommend that you set your overclocks through Hive itself. And again, I'll have another video on that. I'm not talking about that in this video. But you want to make sure your algorithm is selected, that it's fish hash. Your worker.wallet template right here. You can just see these commands. You just want to make sure this is all in their boxes. Now, this is what comes standard in Hive, so you really don't have to do anything. But you can click on the information button and it'll show you what you need to put in those boxes. And you always want to make sure you use the latest update. And then finally, you want to just put the name of your flight sheet and then you want to create the flight sheet. And you're going to just want to hit the rocket ship symbol next to it to launch the flight sheet on your, mo on your mining rig. Other than that, that's it, and then you're good to go.